by Nelson Rodriguez of Mandela, do hereby serve to be faithful to the Republic of South Africa. After six years of construction and numerous delays, the Channel Tunnel has been formally opened by the Queen and President Mitterrand. The tunnel is still not yet ready for passengers and freight services to begin. For centuries, Christianity and Islam struggled for supremacy. Now, the Pope's visit symbolizes their willingness to coexist. Roger Bannister became the first man in the world to run a mile in under four minutes. Memories of victory as the VE celebrations reach their climax. This night is dedicated to everyone who believes in a future of peace and freedom. Slash real. If you've got questions about the stories making headlines, Reality Check is here to help you get the facts straight. Our team of experts examine the evidence and cut through the spin. Join me, Chris Morris, here on BBC World News, or go to bbc.com forward slash reality check. In smaller cities like Varanasi, COVID-19 could be having an even more devastating impact than what we've seen in Delhi because healthcare facilities here are more fragile, serving masses of people coming from villages for miles around. For more, join me, Yogit Alamai, on BBC World News. Women in the Balkans are speaking out about abusive treatment in maternity hospitals. Now, eight months pregnant, can Amira win the right to have her baby at home? Our world, a mother's choice. Birth in the Balkans on BBC World News. Happy weekend. I've waited all the week for you. Some days of the week are just different. Weekends on BBC World News. Having a global perspective creates a deeper understanding. Because in our connected world, all news is international. I will fight as hard for those who did not support me as for those who did. So for in-depth analysis of the biggest stories from around the world... These scenes of flight police suggest the Kremlin is more worried than they've been letting on. Join our team and find out what is really going on. World News America on BBC World News. The story of American art is as epic as the story of America itself. What can a journey through American art history reveal about this fascinating nation? From the earliest settlers struggling to pin down their identity, to the abstract expressionists and pop artists of the 60s. Idealism and materialism inextricably intertwined. That's America. It's only been 10 years since I started working in America and I'm just about doing my first leading role as an actor. We have to keep in mind that if we fail to contain COVID-19, we will fail to grow our economy as well. Those who provide sanctuary to the Taliban should be talked to very straight. There's a lot of work to update the rules of the WTO to 21st century realities. When big names talk, they talk to the BBC. Hello. This is a very public demonstration of what the Tunisian people think of what their president said last night. This revolution was as much about economics as it was politics. Chaos can be contagious and neighboring countries will be looking on nervously. So it's the people against the president, his will against theirs. Tear gas coming this way at the moment. The police do not have this demonstration. 
under control. The rebels insist they're going to take this road all the way to Tripoli. Colonel Gaddafi's troops have broken out of the town. But this is still only the start of the road towards Egyptian democracy. This is where they captured Gaddafi in that irrigation channel. Tens of thousands of Yemenis have been braving sniper bullets and police brutality in the street. Libyans can now hope to bury the past. There are certainly more dangerous days ahead for Egypt. It's not going to end anytime soon. Nelson Kodesas of Mandela do hereby swear to be faithful to the Republic of South Africa. After six years of construction and numerous delays, the Channel Tunnel has been formally opened by the Queen and President Mitterrand. The tunnel is still not yet ready for passengers and freight services to begin. For centuries, Christianity and Islam struggled for supremacy. Now, the Pope's visit symbolizes their willingness to coexist. Roger Bannister became the first man in the world to run a mile in under four minutes. Memories of victory as the VE celebrations reach their climax. This night is dedicated to everyone who believes in a future of peace and freedom. By 2050, the global population is expected to rise to 10 billion. And to feed ourselves, we need to greatly increase food production. But how can we do this in an environmentally sustainable way? Wow, look at this. I'm James Wong, and in a new series of Follow the Food, I'll explore how farming, science, technology, and the consumer can rise to meet this profound challenge. BBC experts check the facts behind the stories making the headlines. Go to the BBC News website and app for accurate information on the coronavirus vaccines. Reality Check. Get the facts straight. We are ready. Uh, we have everything in place. The secure bio bubble allows international visitors to travel in, in, within the bio bubble safety. There is no mingling with locals if you're not vaccinated. They are able to see sites without mixing with locals, able to go around the island uh, and basically stay in any accommodation uh, of their choice. Great art. It's what we've always unleashed to distract ourselves, to escape our worries. The starting point for a costume designer is usually research. Actors will talk about the fact that it makes them feel like they're literally sort of stepping into the shoes of that character. That is completely remarkable. It feels as though there's an open window and you're seeing something through it that you really shouldn't be witnessing. What are your thoughts about Ishiguro's work? Ishiguro demonstrates nuance and fragility in human lives that we must take seriously. Join me, Bethany Hughes, to explore my hand-picked wonders of Malta, from mysterious prehistoric temples to World War II heroes. 
I'm going to be revealing the deep history and incredibly rich culture of this island right at the heart of the Mediterranean. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. Wow. That's Wonders of Malta here on BBC World News. Hello. We have to keep in mind that if we fail to contain COVID-19, we will fail to grow our economy as well. We're determined to be a responsible international actor and international leader uh, on, uh, on vaccinations. There's a lot of work to update the rules of the WTO to 21st century realities. Sadly, climate change will cause uh, far more deaths uh, over five times as many per year by the end of the century. It's only been 10 years since I started working in America and I'm just about doing my first leading role as an actor. When big names talk, they talk to the BBC.